Hi, right, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're working on a Kenmore gas oven. And so what we're going to do is we're going to convert it from natural gas to propane. And so if you look down here, you can see there's these little jets inside there. And those jets need to be changed. We've got four of them on top. And then down below for the main burner, we have a jet that we have to adjust. And then we also have to adjust the, um, the pressure regulator. Here's your pressure regulator right here. And then here are the auxiliary jets conversion. This particular oven has these jets for the top burners. Not all ovens will have this jet kit. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cap off and pull it out and take a look at it. Okay, so here's the cap that was on the the pressure regulator and you can see that this thing here says NAT on it for natural gas and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and flip it upside down so we'll just take this off here might be tricky to do with one hand but Okay, so this, these are the jets that go up on top. And it gives you instructions here to install them. But basically, these jets will go in place of the ones that are already in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top loose. I'm gonna loosen the top. In order to loosen the top, we have to take these holding screws off. On this particular one, there's only one holding screw. And then you can do this with a deep socket, but I'm just gonna take this loose, I think. And then we'll replace those jets. So, uh, like I was saying, there's, a, uh, there's actually a small wire in the center of that jet that holds the jet into the socket and this is uh, a 932 socket and so this is this is the regular natural gas you can see how the orifice is a bit bigger than the uh, the propane one and this natural gas one has a red mark on it and so basically, we just put it in our socket and then send it down here straight ahead down back into the seat of the jet. Okay, so if we take a look at the instructions here, you can see that they're marked. Each jet has a mark. This has a three mark. So this jet here would be different from this jet or this jet or this jet. So they each have a mark on the jets. So if we look at this mark here, it's got like an 11. So this jet here, theoretically, could go on one of these, on this side. And let's see if we look at this one here. This is number three. So this number three has got to go over here in this one and then this jet here is a number one and this number one has got to go over here you can see the number is etched on the top of it so each jet has to go to a specific burner size on this particular one they're not all the same but many of them require the specific jetting 
Okay, so I took the top off. The top is held on by these screws here. And you have to take these screws off before you can uh, disengage the top with these clips. These clips are basically a flathead screwdriver action. Pressing in. And then it pops up. But you have to disconnect the burners. Take these screws out. These were actually star torques holding these uh, this top panel on to the burner. And so be forewarned if you try and take the top panel off without taking these off, without disconnecting the burners, you will bend the feed tubes. You will bend them and possibly break them. Uh, once you once you put a kink in the feed tubes, they they will not be safe anymore because there's a possibility of them leaking. So I just wanted to check this one to make sure that there was no other further adjustment for propane. Sometimes they'll have a, a valve uh, adjustment, but I don't see any here, so I think we're good with this one. So once again, these uh, these are the screws. Uh, it's like a Star Torx screw. Uh, you get your Star Security Torx bit set over it. Uh, most hardware stores also they sell them if you need one. I'll sell you one. They're only 15 bucks for the set. And so. These screws have to be taken off the top and disconnected from the inner burner in order to take this top off or you'll mangle the feed tubes for the, uh, the jets. And so, yeah, and some of these actually, if you, if these are like really tight, and you can't get them off and you strip them, you're going to have to drill them out and put a new screw in. So be careful with that. What I'll do is, if they're really tight, I will spray them with WD-40 or some penetrant and then try them after about 20 minutes and or take a hair dryer to them, heat them up, let the penetrant sink in there and then try it again and then also you could take a flathead screwdriver when it's sitting inside there take a flathead screwdriver and sort of tap on it so these are regular right-handed threads so we're going tapping on it counterclockwise to to add a little vibration into there and then hopefully that thing will come loose if it doesn't come loose, you'll have to drill it out and put a new one in. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Some require that you adjust these burner uh, jets as well. Make sure you put your old jets back where they came from. So in case anybody needs to convert it back over again. And if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-445-1591. Thank you.